Hi everyone, welcome to another week, another video. So this week's video is a little bit different. I decided to film all our dinners for a week straight or from Monday to Friday. So usually with us, obviously it's only two of us. So I want to say that's the hardest um, like quantity to cook for because um, I feel like it's easier to cook for one or to cook for like four people but two it's kind of like sometimes you have food left sometimes you don't um, and then food goes to waste and it's just it's hard in terms of the quantities of what you can buy at the shop it really only caters for two people anyway but yeah I thought I'd film what we eat in a week um, every night yeah we don't do like super fancy super expensive dinners we keep it very simple we don't have a lot of time in the evening to spend cooking nor do I really like to cook so and I'm not a good cook either so none of these things are uh, super like, like exciting or whatever I just thought I'd show like what we eat um, the quantities and yeah and so on so yeah let's get into it <laughs> came for my run so sorry for me looking a little bit undone or whatever um yeah just went for a run after work but so first night of the week um we don't make like super like difficult meals uh, or like intense recipes or whatever we usually try to keep it easy just because i'm not a great cook and I also don't really have the time to spend hours trying to cook after work, nor do I feel like it. So we try to keep it simple. So tonight we are just doing like a plant-based or like a vegetarian uh, bolognese. So I'm just going to use um, maybe half of this packet of spaghetti. This is just normal spaghetti, nothing like super fancy this is a 500 gram so i might use like 250 of this then we're going to use this uh, plant-based vegan bolognese sauce which contains like soy mince and mushrooms and stuff and i think i'm going to use this whole thing which is 280 grams of this and yeah i'll cook the vegetables in this and then we'll throw it over the pasta and then i just have carrots and an onion that I'm going to throw in there and then lastly I'm going to just cook corn in the microwave because I don't feel like boiling it in, in, on the stove and yeah that's basically it for Monday night um, like I said those are the quantities that I'll be using I'm just going to peel the carrots and all those things and then get cooking
is Tuesday afternoon. I got um, home a little bit earlier from the office than yesterday, um, obviously because I went for the run, so I can get cooking a little bit earlier, which is kind of ideal and more my vibe than um, cooking late because I don't like to eat late in the evening. Anyway, so today on the menu is going to be homemade burgers. So we just got some um, burger buns. I take the whole wheat ones from Willie's and Jason just takes normal burger buns. And then we're just gonna <laughs> attempt to make our own patties with some mince and some spices and nothing fancy and onion. I don't actually really know what you know people put into their patties. I think I might just look up a quick recipe just to make sure I'm on track. And then we just got some baby spinach, rocket, lettuce, you know, like kind of those leaves, and then some cheese and some tomato. I think that's the only things, yeah. I'm a very plain person, so I just like cheese and my beef patty maybe some leaves usually that's all i eat on my burger but i know a lot of other people that enjoy like a full stack burger so yeah we're gonna just see what we have and then we're gonna start making those so yeah let me let me get cooking so i don't have to stand you the whole evening Thursday today, um, I just wrapped up work this afternoon. It was like raining earlier and stuff, so I don't know if this is the sign of winter really being here now because we've had some like rainy ish days um, and some cold evenings, but I still don't feel like that it's officially here. I don't know, but anyway. So, I've just been working from home today and yeah, now I'm going to make some dinner. Yesterday was uh, obviously a public holiday, so we were pretty lazy in terms of making food because we were like working on the kitchen and all those kind of things the whole day and I did some computer stuff, so we didn't really want to spend a lot of time 
making food, so that's why we just made some hot dogs, which was pretty tasty. Anyway, so today, like I said, it's Thursday and I'm just gonna make like a stir fry. Yeah, it's it's also gonna be pretty like simple. I'm just gonna use some of those stir fry bags or veggies, um, those frozen ones. And then I'm just gonna cut up three chicken breasts and I might make either like spaghetti or I might make it with rice. I'm thinking what do I feel like having? Anyway, either spaghetti or rice, I'll see. And yeah, that's what we're gonna have for dinner now. Let's let's get cooking. quick like 30 minute workout and yeah now I'm ready to eat um, I just added chutney to this just because I add chutney to everything basically all my meals and um, some would say it's weird but I've always been like that always add chutney to everything um so yeah Jason isn't here that's why I'm eating alone I am gonna work a little bit tonight while I wait for him. Usually if he works late then I will usually also try to get some extra stuff done like computer stuff or whatever and then when he gets home we get to spend some time together. But yeah, so I have to edit a video and yeah, I don't know, um, got a new editing program and it is very daunting because I don't know that much about editing and I'm so used to using one program now I'm like you know having to teach myself how to use another one and I'm like not that great so it takes me like twice as long now just to edit a video just because I don't know the program and there's also a lot more features and stuff that I want to explore so that also takes a lot of time so yeah just gonna do that eat my chicken and veggies and yeah I decided to cook rice and not pasta but yeah that was it for dinner for tonight nothing fancy like I said 99.9% .9 of our meals are quick easy doesn't take long to make that is not super expensive that kind of thing I'll see you then tomorrow for our Friday dinner obviously always makes me happy and for today usually Fridays we do like comfort food or takeouts or whatever but um, we are busy working um, in the flat basically like day and night trying to finalize all the small things for the you know big kitchen foyer reveal because the the small things is the thing that's taking the longest um, so we're having kind of a hard time finishing those things because you think you know what you're doing and then it doesn't work out and you have to kind of redo it and you have to cut and measure and recut and measure and it's just a lot more like time consuming but I decided I'm gonna just make mac and cheese for tonight um, we haven't had like homemade mac and cheese in a while and it's obviously one of the easiest things to make and it's super filling and it's like comfort food so we're gonna just have some mac and cheese I wanted to add bacon to it but I actually don't have any bacon black bits like diced bacon um, and I didn't have time to go to the shop at all today um, it was very busy so yeah it's gonna be basic mac and cheese I think we still have breadcrumbs which I'll then just add on top so I make my own white sauce put some cheese on use normal I think like macaroni 
um, that does pasta elbows, if we have any of those. Otherwise, I'll just use something different. And then I like to top it with breadcrumbs and then put it in the oven for a little bit, um, just like bake. Um, but yeah, I'll see how much breadcrumbs I have left. And that's, that's it. That's it. And that also wraps up this week's food menu, if you will. So let me go make the mac and cheese. Thank you.